Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hand of Fate. In the previous episode, we made our way to the final floor against the Queen of Skulls. And in this episode, we're gonna track her down and destroy her. I'm gonna pass it by because I'm not taking my chances with a curse. Of course. Couldn't have been where the shop was. health I've ever had. How unpleasant. The Holy Forge. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong, and one day one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. The king's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. You bid the monk farewell, and leave him standing silent in the silent, empty ruin. That's the thing we need the metal for. Though, given our luck against this Dark Dweller, I'm not sure if we should try it. Oh. oh, come on. How much max health are you gonna take from me? A dark ritual. The more powerful the sight the more vile its trespasses. While searching the sacred tombs of Wandermere, here you come across a group of skeletons conducting a dark ritual. Their attention seems to be focused on a closed stone sarcophagus. Well, it's only six skulls and I have a holy weapon. Last, as the last broken bone clatters to the stone floor, you realize that your, inter your intervention has come too late. The sarcophagus is slowly cracking open. You quickly grab what you can from the area and flee the chamber. Ooh, fleet cuffs, yeah. And an explorer's helm that I already have. Are you have. sure that's the right approach? Yes. Standing outside a moment later, you hear an unholy shriek that will haunt your this dreams forever. This card will unlock more cards, and then still more. You must dig deeply if you wish to discover the heart of this mystery. There's a dark ravine. Climb down and take a look. In the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of a wooden cart, apparently having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, but perhaps you can find someone who can use it. Hint, hint. You take it and make your way back up the path. Nah, yeah, screw it. I'll take the chances. Oh, and now we have two chances to succeed. A ruined monastery. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes. So sad. Give the monk your sample of ore. The monk's eyes widen in surprise and he exclaims, by the old gods! Where did you find that? He looks the metal over carefully. If you're willing to put in the hard work, stranger, together we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spend several days with the old monk. By day you toil together at the forge, and by night you swap tales of your adventures for a share of his food. Eventually, you hold the completed weapon in your hands. Battle Hammer. String together consecutive attacks to do massive damage. Press left bumper to unleash a powerful explosion. 
This is going to be very useful against the Queen. 80 more damage and the powerful explosion. Thank you, warrior, for giving this old relic one last chance to prove his worth. Good luck on your journey. Plus, I believe that token unlocks the battle hammer for us to find naturally. Now, here's hoping we can get past the Dark Dweller. Please. At the very least, don't take my hammer. Okay, it was just my armor. Okay. Huh. Of course, I think that means I have no armor now. No, oh wait, that's right. I drew another medium armor at the beginning. Treasure chest. Yeah, I shouldn't take my chances in getting anything else. And a shop. Pass it by. Well, she's one of these cards. Yep. Face death and learn your fate. See, a powerful skeleton warrior with the ability to summon dem a demonic pile of skulls that can create a legion of skeletons. I'm pretty sure that's the same bone totem that we encountered during one of the White Council battles. So we want to get rid of that before it can summon too many. Which should be easy with our new hammer. There's a token in it for you if you win. You mean when I win? One priority, take out the totem. What I tell you, easy battle. And let's finish it off with an explosion. Oh yeah, I do not regret trying to get past that Dark Dweller again. Then it is done. When even a creature as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. Alright, let's see what we got for this. For winning the Blood Auction, you receive these cards. Gain 10 gold, Plunderer's Ring, and Blood Auction 2. For helping Mr. Lionel, we get... Goblin King's Halls 5... Er, not 5, 4. Tavern Wager for getting the husband back. We get Meet the High Binder. Devil's Carnival, we see plus 20 gold, and Giant Eagle. Discovering a tomb, we gain 25 gold, and Desert Cult. We're interrupting a Dark Ritual, we gain the Lich, whom we have to have in our deck. Let's see. Ooh, Forbidden Armor. That sounds interesting. Next up is the Queen of Plague, and we also got the Lizard Dome. And lastly, Arrow Cutter and Mortal Whimsy. Ooh, that looks like an interesting one. One more round. You have earned it. Oh, I've definitely earned it, but we'll save it for next time. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like and perhaps subscribe for future content. See you guys in the next episode.